what's going on guys just woke up a little bit ago but wanted to show you what shirt I'm gonna bust out today thought it'd be fun the shirt you're wearing today might be neat but is it Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle cool that's the real question hey so drinking my hibiscus lemon water I wish more places sold this stuff man it is freaking awesome but yeah so today eBay sales have yet to occur and it's uh, almost three o'clock yet but you know what not worried about it I'm getting a lot of shit listed so stuff's gonna sell and uh, yeah Amazon's not doing bad though um, I'm about at 50 bucks for the day so far so <clears throat> we'll see what happens but uh, yeah Amazon's picking up and man I can't believe it because I haven't sent anything in Amazon now for maybe a month um i mean that's really odd for me but you know i just haven't got around to it i guess i i have a bunch of stuff to send to them but yeah it just hasn't happened yet so i don't know i might end up uh doing some of that today i know i keep saying that and then i just i just have to list for ebay because uh all that stuff is just piled up on the floor and it's taking up way more space than the Amazon stuff. So I'm really just trying to get it off the floor, get it listed, get it onto shelves, get it onto a clothing rack, uh, bins, wherever it needs to be, really. Um, <clears throat> and kind of regaining control of the room uh, while I'm doing it. So yeah, I mean, I'm headed back home now. Gonna list, um, and actually I gotta take pictures first because everything that I took pictures of yesterday has already been listed which that is good but um <clears throat> yeah uh, today I don't think I'll do end up getting out sourcing at all the only way I see myself doing it is if uh, my brother kind of drags me into it uh, because he wants to go sourcing today but I told him I'm probably not gonna go because I have so much crap to get listed and again I would like to uh, really bang it all out before I leave to this cruise uh, the end of this month. Uh, that would be the ideal situation to happen. So we'll see how it plays out, but that's the goal as of right now. Um, pretty optimistic, but again, I keep finding myself going sourcing because, gosh, I hate being um, locked up in the house all day just listing. It's it's dreadful uh, if you ask me I mean I guess it could be a good position right now to pay someone to list but then again I don't want to pay someone like full-time uh, right now so I don't know anyone that would just want to learn it um, part-time for some uh, part-time hours I I don't I don't feel like very comfortable that it would be worth my time finding someone and I don't know like they would like either they'd be a shitty lister or uh, they'd be a good lister and figure out they should just be doing this themselves so you never kind of know with that sort of thing and <clears throat> that would really suck if you found a really good person and they left you uh, to do their own thing you know I guess maybe you, you just have to pay them well and hope they stay I guess that's pretty much uh, any business you know but yeah uh, gonna head home now and check back in later well looks like I lost uh, five dollars down the hole oh wait nope make it 15 that's why we don't gamble folks what a time to be a boxer something I want to talk about a little bit here uh, something I don't do often on eBay is meetups and you know what it's just a personal preference thing I don't like doing meetups for eBay whatsoever um, some people love it some people hate it me I just don't like it and I actually decided that I would do one today um, gonna be tonight actually but yeah this guy bought a cassette player a Sony Walkman for 40 bucks and I had it there for 45 or best offer we kind of bartered and finally ended up at uh, 40 bucks 
but with the condition that I drive it to his shop. He actually owns um, an arcade. And I won't say what arcade or location in case um, he doesn't want people to know that's fine. I won't mention that, but yeah. So he owns this uh, arcade and whatnot, and I'm gonna go meet up with him. And the only reason I'm doing it is because he ended up going to 40 bucks. Because I would have probably took $30 shipped, but for whatever reason, he really wanted to do this meetup and whatever. And I don't know about you, I just, I feel like it's, it's a hassle. I feel like it's uh, nearly a waste of time and whatnot. Like, I mean, it would have shipped first class, so it would have been under $3 more than likely. But yeah, the thing is, sometimes the money is uh, too good to uh, turn it down. Like, um, I really haven't done a meetup in a long time. It's been months, um, which brings me to what that meetup was. And I've been selling the screen protectors to someone very close uh, to my area for some time now. He stumbled across me on eBay, and you know what? I'm really finding him almost at harassment these days because he pounds me with um, things like, all right, most people, this might sound uh, good to you, but it's not for me. Um, he sends me texts all the time trying to sell me crap and um, whatnot, but he wants to do like some huge bundle deals that it's like $500 for all this crap. and. I already have so much stuff that I need to list anyway I'm not gonna take them up on that offer and there's nothing in there that is amazing it's lots and lots of stuff that would need to be listed which means it would be a ton of work and you know what in my business model I like to cherry-pick things and I like to find really good stuff um, I'm trying to get away from uh, picking up you know smaller stuff and stuff that I'm not getting huge ROIs on or if it's not a huge ROI something that's gonna sell very quickly and I'm gonna make my money very fast so yeah this guy actually I finally said um, no because he was he just kept sending me and sending me it's like he wouldn't even let me uh, respond he just kept trying to uh, add stuff to the bundle deal and whatever and, I, and he's like so do you want this or not and I'm like no I'm good thank you or something very like that and he's like he sends me back this long paragraph of text he's like I don't understand how you're in the business of buying and reselling and you won't ever buy my stuff and it's like he's mad that I won't buy his stuff but yet He's not mad about me selling him um, stuff, so I don't know. It, it's really weird. Like, you know what? I never told you that I would buy stuff from you anyway. So, what's the big hard on you have for me? Like, seriously, I don't know. I don't. I don't really understand it whatsoever. Mate, have you guys ever had this happen to you? And what have you done about it? Like, I'm seriously thinking of blocking this guy. Um, that this is exactly one of the reasons why I don't like doing meetups. It's like we're in this whole e-commerce thing so that yeah, I mean, you can provide excellent customer service and whatnot, but doing it from a distance letting shipping and whatever um, you know, handle it is so much better for me in my opinion um and my business model rather than doing these meetups if I wanted to do all these freaking ass meetups I would have a brick and mortar store and I don't want a brick and mortar store it doesn't um, sound appealing to me the only thing that sounds appealing about a brick and mortar store is yeah people coming to your shop that are desperate for money that have some um, high dollar stuff that you can give them you can give them some good money that they'll be happy but you can make a killing off them and that's really the only thing like for just average items I don't really care about just average crap and most of those items 
I don't even I don't even want like he doesn't understand this too. Most of the crap he sends me, I probably wouldn't pick it up in a store for very cheap because if I don't like to sell something, I'm probably not gonna buy it unless I'm gonna make crazy money off of. I mean there comes to a point where you have to buy something because the money is too good. But seriously, if stuff takes a long time to package and ship then I need to make a lot more money off of it because I'm used to throwing stuff in bubble mailers and uh, poly bags and small boxes that don't need um, you know tons of um, work to be done and the reason why I pick those is I don't like bubble wrapping the crap out of stuff and then double boxing it and all that and you know what I feel like I'm going on a tangent right now and I don't want that to happen but yeah just drop in the comments below what do you think of the situation like should I just block him should I just say you know what I'm not I'm not interested in buying your stuff at all I have plenty of stuff that I can list myself which I'm doing right now but anyway um yeah I'll check back later guys Look at this arcade, guys. It's like a blast from the past. Kind of fun, interesting. Have you guys ever seen this many pinball machines in one place, too? Like, come on, that's awesome. <laughs> I think I need to play that. Guys, just got home from the meetup. Um, actually happy that I did the meetup, which is really surprising. Ended up staying about an hour or so and playing those games. So, kind of neat. Uh, but with that being said, I think I'm going to conclude this vlog. So, go ahead and smash that like button.